Ready? Shalomoy Tzuk is Tov Shem Pei Aleph. Bruchim Abom Hashem Hashem Agat Moyed Agat Yom Tov Tov Bikidish Hashem Boch Hashem. We had it today. She was Shalomoyed. Two floors, Kinderlach, Matata is coming to learn every day, Chalamoid, and Shiurim every day. Mika, Amch Yisrael, even in these hard times, so many people need your Fuis and Yeshuas. G'doy le'oy le'am, Boch Hashem, I have a Pseudo Toiva, my Rebbe will gesund sein. He came out of the hospital, he went home, he was like gesund and stark, and he said, I'm going to go. Moedi, where are we? Quote, Kiddush, is Adma Shlita. Moedi, Baruch, me, Yanke, when Fegas, I'm a Fuis, Shalem, I'm a Seuch, Shachor, Yisrael, and I'm a Amen. And also the Godel Sah Teure, Shmaryo, Yosef, Maran, Rabba Goen, a Godel, Shmaryo, Yosef Chaim, Ben Peshem, Miam, of Ushleim, of Zer, Shachor, Yisov, and Omar, Omen. And I basically am asking again, our best message is Makbet very much, and everybody should have a mask. We don't put on the masks only for the Goyim in the street, you also put it for the Eden, that Eden should be protected. And we're asking everybody, the condition to have the Shurim is only if everybody wears a mask. If not, we don't have the Shurim here, we're going to cancel. So, Rabbi Yisrael Hashem, everybody has a mask. We're very happy, keep it up. And Bismuth is not for us, and we're going to say, 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 also asking everybody to please try to sit as much as possible to spread out. We have a second floor available upstairs for those that want more space. Today she is Mamad Kiddush Hashem is not vesting the day nor about Vrom Alio Spry, A B Spry. He always monitored this big Kiddush Hashem. He will take us chus from his ganze mishpacha. Today she is the magachid that comes every Sunday. It's mechazekos thousands of Eden all over the world and a hena from the shiurim. Harav Hagoyin Rabbi Yaakov Zev Smith Shlita and the important topic of kiatish shemei tefilas kol pe. Harav Smith Shlita. The Gemara says in Brachas that from Medal and Medbe is an interesting story. Rabbi Chanina came to learn by Rabbi Yochanan Ben Zakkai, who was the Rabbi Shel Kol Bnei Agoyla, who was the Manig of Klal Yisrael. And it seems Rabbi Yochanan Ben Zakkai's son was very sick, and he turned to his Talmud, Rabbi Chanina, and says, "Daven for my child, v'yechaya. You have to mamish that we need moivsim." And he took a daven, and the, the child had a refuah. And it was very strange. Here is the, the Rebbe, the God of Hadar, didn't daven, he turns to his Talmud. So he made it very clear. And he said, if I would have davened the whole day, it wouldn't have helped. It's only my Talmud, the B'chaninist tefillah, that was able to pile this Yeshua. So now the Tamiya was even bigger. A Talmud is bigger than a Rebbe. So his wife asked him, V'chichanina, God how could... We understand this. Is your Talmud bigger than you? He said, no. I guess there was not a time for Anivas. He knew his place. He was bigger than his Talmud. Elahu, Rabbi Chanin is doing the ke'eved lefnei ha-melech. He's like an eved. Vani, kesar lefnei ha-melech. And I'm like a sar, like a general, like a, like a leader. Now when you learn this Gemara, you wonder if that's a teretz or maybe that's the kasha. An eved is certainly much lower than a sar, than a leader. How did he answer the question? Why was Rabbi Chanina's tefillah more powerful, more effective than his? And Rashi has a pshat, the Masha has a pshat, and many other pshatim, but I'd like to say, B'shus HaRabim, I think it's pshat, I think is very much Negea, in Yoneinu, in the matzah that we're in. But don't forget, if the Gemara is telling us that there's a powerful, a super power in tefillah, of being like an Eved, then we have to know what is the mile of an Eved that we could use in our tefillahs. The Yishalmi in Perik Tess, Halach Aleph and Brachis, tells an interesting story. There was a Svina that was full of Goyim that was out at sea. There was one Yiddish child on boat. And there was a terrible storm and the boat was about to capsize and drown. And everybody got up and dabbed into their getchkes, and of course, loy hoyel klum. And then all the goyim realized they were hopeless. And they saw one young child laying and doing nothing. So they turned to him, and I quote, B'ni, kum kroi el oikecha, go cry out to your rabbi nishlam, she'shaman, we, even we heard, shu'ayna eschem, k'shata tziakim alav. Even we know that your rabbi nishlam could make yeshuas. Amar atinik b'chol libay v'tzo'ak. 
Interesting lashon. Bechol libay v'tzaak. You find an eicha tzaak libam el Hashem. From the depths of his heart, he cried out with kavana. V'kilmen hakadosh baruch hu tefilasay v'shasek hayam. And he was piled at Yeshua. That was the end of the story, Lachayim. Then when they got to the dock, they disembarked and everybody got off to the marketplace and they noticed this young child, the hero, is laying there. So they asked him, why don't you get up and go with us and go to the port and buy something like we're doing? Why are you laying in the boat? Now it's time to get off. So he responded, what do you want? Ma'atun boim in hadein achsanoi aluva. What do you want from me? I am humiliated. I'm forlorn. I'm forsaken. I'm a nobody. I'm a nebuchadnezzar. Leave me alone. I'm helpless. I'm hopeless. And this angered the Goyim very much, as if it struck a raw nerve. And they turned to him, they say, Omaloi at achsanoi aluva? How dare you say you're forlorn, you're forsaken? You're helpless, you're hopeless. Inon achsenoi aluva. We are aluvim. Because we are here, we were on a boat, our Voidazara, where it went in Rome, or in other places, or in Bavel. We cried out to them and they deserted us. We are forsaken, we are forlorn, we are alone. How dare you say you're an aluv? Aval at. Kol ahoin da at oz. Wherever you go, elokoch imoch. And the Yishalmi quotes the Pasik in Parash Veschanan, Ki mi goi gadol ha-shaloi alikim kroiv me lov, kashem alikinu b'chol kareinu me lov. Listen to how the Goyim are giving this child Musa. Or maybe I should listen to how the Goyim are giving us Chizuk. A Yid is never alone. A Yid is never forlorn. A Yid is never forsaken. A Yid is never helpless. A Yid is never hopeless. And obviously, the Yishalmi is teaching us the Koyach of Tefillah, of a young child. But the embassy is, is more to this. Those words have to be Nehler Agleinu. Kol ahoin da'at ozil eleikoch imach. A yid is never alone. Wherever he goes, is a bayri yoylam. It reminds me of the Rabbeinu Yoynis Pshad and Apostolic in Mishlei. Bechol drachecha da'ehu. And a Vashtetzer is going on Bitoche and a person has to think of Hashem. The Rebbein Yoyinu learns it's also going on Tefillah. And he says, whatever a person does, he has to daven. But he has to know that the Rebbein Shalom is there for him. And then he says, Vida, you should know, there are some people when they have a big need, then they daven. But something small, something insignificant, okay, they'll manage. So Dr. Rebbein that's not right. Bechol derachecha in every step of your life, do'ehu, you have to turn to the Bayri Yolam. And you know, it always amazed me, a Gemara that we all learn, the Gemara is in Baruch HaDav Samach, Gimel Taka, on this Pasuk, Eiz HaPar Shekitana Shekol Gufei Torah Tluyim, which is the Pasuk that has everything in it, Bechol derachecha do'ehu. Okay. Rav HaOma, Afilu Ludvar Avera. It's so important, the Chol Derechecha De'eyu, that even for an Aveira, you have to think of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Now, when a person is doing an Aveira, he's not thinking of Kaddish Baruch Hu. What, what does the Gemara mean? So you look on the side, there's a Girsa, and Gadar Ben Yoyne brings this Gemara, incidentally, with this Girsa. Omer Apopa, Hainu the Amri Inchi, Gan Vapomach Tarta Rachmonakari. A Ganif, a Baba Machteres is about to break into someone's home. Now we remember the Gemara. A Baba Machteres is a Raidif. You'll have to kill him. He's coming, he might even kill you. So here a person is a Ganif and a Raidseyach. But before he takes a step, before he breaks into someone's house, he cries out, Rabbi I need Panasa. Give me Panasa. And that's Shat. Bechol Drachecha Dayeyu, Afilu Dvar Avera. Obviously, this is a warped mentality. I mean, a, a Ganif, and he's davening. But it's such an Isaias to me. Look at the Amolog Ganif, how he lived the Cholder Achecha Da'eyu. The Ganif with all his Tamimis realized you can't do anything without Bariyaylam. 
And that's really what the Goyim were telling this child and telling all of us. Kol ahoyin da'at ozil elokochimach. You're not alone. Eid's never alone. But I think there's another lesson in this Yishalmi that may be most important. Because when I'm talking Baruch Hashem to Mamin and Bnei Mamin, I mean every Yid believes in the Koyach of Tefillah. Yeah, a Godel Hadar, a Big Tzaddik's Tefillah. But little old me, what could I do with my Tefillah? And the Goyim are talking to us. This is a young child, Tzach Hakol. This wasn't the Rashke Bahag or Benan Shel Kedoshim. Tefillah is not how big the person is. Tefillah is how big the tefillah is. If someone fits into this description, Ahmad B'chal Libay B'tzak, then he's zaychet to what the Medjish Taich is, Karv Hashem L'chal Kairav, Yochel HaKoyl, Tamaloyim L'chal HaShikra U B'emes, that's the Yalkut and Tilim Tav Sof Ches. In other words, the Yalkut, the Medjish is saying, it's not the person that makes the difference, it's the tefillah. It's the quality of the tefillah. And maybe that's shot in, in, in the Mesil Shashar. In Perik Yotes, he's talking about Geula, we have to long for the Geula. And then he asks a question that we all could relate to. Like what, what, what will my tefillah make a difference? I mean, come on, I know myself, I know where I am, and my tefillah is nothing. There's a Mishnah that's talking to him. The Mishnah Sanhedrin, you're making a mistake. Your tefillah doesn't make a difference. Your tefillah makes all the difference. Bishvili Nivra Oilam is a Yid's guy with the Kedusha when he davens that my Tvil will make all the difference. Ah, you're a nobody? But that's not the qualification. That's not the criterion for Tvilah. L'chol ha-shikra'uhu be-emes. Whereas the Kutzke said it, only the Kutzke could say is Ki yata shemeya Tvilas kol feh. Even a feh. But if he davens, the Baran Shalom listens. And you know, maybe that's the Hemshech in the Yishalmi, because the next words of the Yishalmi quotes of Shimon Melakish. A boss of Adam, he has people that he's close to. You know, if he's a wealthy person, he likes the prestigious people. But, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Eina Ikein, El Afilu Yisrael Nesunim B'Yerida Tachtoina, Hu Koira Oisim Achai Vereyai, Umatam, Luman Achai Vereyai, Adar Beno Sholem Bach. But the Baruch is turning to us for those that are convinced that I'm a nobody and on Achai Vereyai. Adab B'nei Shalom Bach always symbolizes Tefillah. Because Tefillah is a moment of emes. L'chol ha'ishikra'u be'emes. It's not totally in the Madrega, it's be'emes. Tefillah is not exclusive for Tzadikim. You know, there are a number of stories about the Chafetz Chaim, and they're all wonderful, but there are some stories that I never heard until I found them, and they're mom's gems. Someone came to the Chafetz Chaim and said, my wife sent me to get a bracha for her. So the Chafetz Chaim was genuinely confused. He said, I don't understand. It's, it's unheard of. One Ani sends another Ani to go to a third Ani, pointing to himself. Your wife sent you to me. Why don't you go to Tata? Why are you sending an Ani to go to the Tata? Why don't you go straight to the Tata? There's another story. It was, it, it, the Chavetz Chaim was in Grodn and Elo Tuf Reish paid Dalit. And as you can imagine, there were throngs of people that were waiting to see him. And again, he was surprised. He says, why are you coming to me? He said, and these are the exact Hele Loshen Zaina. He says, well, you have a problem? Go to the Tata. A father doesn't like when you send another brother to go to it in his place. Ah, you're thinking the Baruch Shalom doesn't want to hear my tefillah? Ah, Yisrael, may I guarantee the Baruch Shalom wants to hear your tefillah more than when you, you want to say your tefillah. And there's a third story, I think that sums it all up. When people come to him for a bracha, he would say, you know, 
I grew up as a Yasim. His father died at a young age. His mother died at a young age. And when I had a problem, I took out a tillim and I cried my eyes out and do the same. You don't need protectia. You know, we have to, we hear so much about the Chavaz Chaim's Moivsim. We have to hear about our Moivsim, what we could pile with Tfila. We hear about the Chavaz Chaim's Tfila, but we have to know about our own Tfila. And that's the real message of the Yishalmi. This child, a simple child, look what he was able to pile because it was an Emesdika Tfila. You know, the Chazanish, because of his Gewaldige Tzitkis, had an uncanny ability of, of, of saying lines that Mamish were full of, of, of Lamaisa. And one of the letters he writes, Tfila is a mata oiz biyad kol odom. Every word is such a cushion. It's a mata oiz, the powerful weapon. But I think the dogish is biyad kol odom. L'chol ba'emes. And let me be very clear. If someone thinks, yeah, Tfila is wonderful, Sadikim, Kedoshi Elyon, and he thinks that's a Munis Chachamim, or he thinks that's a Nova, so let me tell you, it's not a Munis Chachamim, it's not a Nova, it's wrong, and it's a terribly dangerous mistake. Because the person is depriving himself of his most powerful weapon that's called Tfila. Or better yet, He's going Kenegada Mishnah of Bishvi Li Nivra Oilam that my Tvila makes all the difference. And of course the Tzadik's Tvila has more Koyach, where it says that in, in, in Yavamas Tav Samach Dalid. But that doesn't mean that it's only for Tzadikim. Anova is good when someone insults you, then you use Anova. When it comes to Tvila Vayig Baliba Bedarche Hashem, Karv Hashem Lechol Koyach. You know, the Chinuch, Tov Lamed Gimel, speaks about tefillah. You know, Chinuch is generally very bekitza, and he gives the Tzuras HaMitzvah. But listen to the way he describes the Tzuras HaMitzvah of tefillah. He says, the Yisai, what I've written many times, that a person has to deserve something. And the Rani Shlalem has all of our needs. And we have so many needs. Oh, how many needs we could fit into Tzorche Amcha Yisrael Merubim. And the Rebbein gave us the Pesach Asher Yasigu Mikol Meshal Yisayim Letoiv V'ushi Yavakshim Yimenu Baruch Hu Asher Biyoda Hayastapkus Vayachoyilis Kol Chesroinon Ki Uyana Es HaShemayim L'chol Asher Yekro'uhu Be'eme Zok Techinach It's Pila Ployim. Now imagine if there's a, a huge, huge warehouse that is everything you need, but it's locked. You, you can't. You have no access to it. And someone gives you the access code, so you press a few buttons, and you, you opened up all of your needs. You open up your life. Zok techenoch, that's tefila. There's a, the Rebbeinu Shlom has a storage house of our needs, and he gave us the access code that's called tefila. Isn't tefila a matter always? We have to dive in with the Muna. Now, I once gave this marshal, I think it should bring out the point. Imagine if I would hand out papers right now and ask each and every one of you to write down all your requests. And don't be, don't feel inhibited, don't be embarrassed. No one's going to read it. Just write down what you want. Panasa, Gezunt, Nacha, Shaduchim, Atzlocha, whatever you want. So we'd probably get back hundreds and hundreds of requests. Then I would give out Nigeris Hashnia, a second group of papers. Now, take a piece of paper and write down who w could give us all what we want. Whatever you wrote in Nigeris Harishina, who could give us our requests? So raise a pella. Instead of hundreds and hundreds of requests, the answer would be probably half a line. We buy the Shalai. Why? What do you mean, why? The Baruch Hashem is on a mafanis. The Baruch Hashem is chayis tichayim lechol chay. The Baruch Hashem has mafteach of leida. The Baruch Hashem is mazavik zivugim. I mean, the Baruch Hashem is raifei chol bas. So, like, what's the chiddush? Then I would hand out achrein chaviv nigeres hashlishes. The Baruch Hashem has all of our requests. What's the deciding factor? How kaviyach the Baruch Hashem decide? So I think the answer again would be. I mean, 
Everybody would have their own makar. Someone would say uh, the Seif Achinach that I mentioned. Some people would point to the Marin Yavam Mustaf Samach Dalid that feels like an atar, like a pitchfork that's Mahapach Midas Rach Din to Midas Rachamim. And if you learned Masech the Nida recently, I, I'm, I'm certain you would remember the Gemara Nida Daf Ayin, where the Gemara asks a question that every person is constantly thinking about. Mayasa Adam Veyechkam. I want to be Matzliach and I want to have some Chachmas Atayr. What's the key to success? what do you mean? You have to have, you have to, hey, look, you have to, you have to, you have to learn, you have to harva. Frag the Gemara, the age old question, but harva also came from the So many people daven, they don't have a tzlocha. El yevakesh, rachame, mimisha, chokma, shaloi, shenemak, yashem, yitain, chokma, mi piv dasu svuna. The hey, look, asmad is not enough. Because in this world, the access code is filler. For Egdimar, my Kamash, what's the Havadi after Davin? It's a mitzvah. No, 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 it's not a mitzvah. Ha beloi ha loi sagi. A person, like Yerashi says, a person could harva, but if he doesn't have tvila, he won't have the chachma satay. Do you hear Klara diburim? What's the deciding factor by Bari Yailam? It's tvila. Then the Gemara says, Mayasavi is Asher, what's the secret to, to Panosa? And the same shot to the Batarya, Liachesav, Li Hazov. Then the Gemara speaks about a Hatzlacha with children. And again, the, the same Maskona, Hobolai, Holoi, Sagi. Pilaployim. Three of the most important things in a person's life the Chachmas Atayra, the Panosa, the children. Is all within a Gemara's guarantee. Ha b'loi ha loi sagi. Hishtadlus ahin, hishtadlus aher. Without the ultimate hishtadlus, a person is not zayicha. So isn't it pashit? The hundreds and hundreds of requests are reduced to tefillah. Now, obviously, there are other schusim as well. But here, there's a haftacha of ha b'loi ha loi sagi. We all want Hatzlacha, and the Gemara is telling us what Hatzlacha is. And I was thinking, let's t- recently, you know, people are uh, traveling. So many people go to Eretz Yisrael, to, to Bnei Brak, to Rabbin Shal Yisrael, to Abchayim, to get a bracha. And typically, it's a very short bracha. Bracha Hatzlacha, now it's reduced to Buha. But, we know, if Abchayim says Hatzlacha, we'll have Hatzlacha. And what else do we know? Hashem Hatzlicha, no. But imagine... If the Baruch Hashem gives us a bracha, but not just bracha v'atzlocha, that you will be an ish matzliach. Not just you'll have atzlocha in business or in inchaduchim. Whatever you touch, you will be matzliach. Would a person stop at anything to get such a bracha? And you know something? There was a person in Tanakh who the Torah, the Baruch Hashem called an ish matzliach. In parashas Vayeshe, Vayi Hashem Es Yosef, Vayi Ish Matzliach. V'chol Ashu Oisa Hashem Matzliach B'yodoi. So, what made Yosef an Ish Matzliach? That the Torah, that the Rebbein Islam, considered him an Ish Matzliach. But you know, the Kasha is even stronger. Because the Pesach says in the same parasha, Vayar Adainov Ki Hashem Itoi. His master, the Rosh Paitifa, saw that he was an Ishmat Sliach and the Baruch was with him. It's unthinkable that a Paitifa had Gilu Yishchina, he saw the Baruch there. This whole thing about Yosef Ishmat Sliach, it was so obvious that even a guy saw, what does it mean? How was someone Zayich to be an Ishmat Sliach? So I think it's Pshat, this is really the Med, the Tanchuma and Vayeshev, Simen Ches. Bayar Adoinov ki Hashem Itoi. And the Tanchum asks our Kasha v'chita Paitifa Rosha ha Yeroya to Kadosh Baruch Hu Imoi, Ki Hashem Itoi is unthinkable. Zoktim Tanchuma el Shleiy Shmoi shal Kadosh Baruch Hu Zaz Mi Piv. Yosef didn't stop davening, and the, and the Tanchum gives Mishalem. He went to work to do something for Paitifa. He was cleaning the house or any of the household chores. He was cooking something. He would daven that he should have matzlocha. So much so that Paitifa noticed that he's mumbling. He goes, what are you bringing kish of witchcraft to my house? I don't want this. So he says, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just davening. 
I'm praying that I should, what I should do should find favor in your eyes. Yosef was the Ish Matzliach because he was the Ish Mispalel. Yosef was the Ish Matzliach because he was living Bechol Drachecha Doehu. Whatever he did, he died because he knew that's the source of all his needs. And someone once asked me, why do I have to waste Davin? I have to remind the Rebbein Shlom what I need? I said, no, the Rebbein Shlom doesn't forget. You have to remind yourself what you need. Because your needs on a daily basis, you have to access from that warehouse. And the access code is tefillah. You don't Davin to remind the Kaddish Baruch you Davin to remind yourself. And you have to remind yourself, like David put it so beautifully, Va'ani tefillah. I am tefillah. I am the product of tefillah. I'm the teitzah of tefillah. What I am is what my, what my davening. Or if you like, a loshana of a gemara, mave ze odom. The more in bavakama, teboyim boyu. And the show wonders because it says in the posik, gabi person, mave so that's, but that's the essence of a person, mave ze odom. But of course the problem is we don't put two and two together. We don't realize that the ish matzliach is of an ish misfalel. And obviously, a person has to daven with a, a mature understanding of davening. Davening is a matter always, but there, there are other cheshbainis. You know, people think, you know, I, I daven once, and wh where, where is it? You know, like, I ring, the Baruch Shalom rings. But you know, a person has to know that the Baruch Shalom is listening. Sometimes it's, it's an accumulation of tefillahs. Sometimes we don't know what's really good for us. But I think the, the aside of davening is with the words of, of Eli, we find the beginning of Shmuel, when he was told that the devastating news about his future, he said, Hashem hu hatoi be'en of yase. What the Baruch Shalom does is right. The davening gives us the reassurance, gives us the comfort to know, I did my hishtadlus, my regular hishtadlus and my tefillah. But you know what's interesting? There's another part of Anit Tefillah, of Mavaz Adam. Just like the Midah Toiva, when a person davens, he could get. Chas Shalom, if he doesn't daven, he won't get. Because that's the way the Chinuch says, that's the way the Baruch made a world. And I once collected Maram Akimis, but I'm going to tell you just one or two. Do you ever wonder, Moshe Rabbeinu was asked by Bar Yolam to be the Moshe and Shal Yisrael? And he was reluctant because he had a speech impediment. He had a, a, a problem with his speech. But the Mershim told him to do it, and he struggled with his speech defect. Why did the Mershim heal Moshe Rabbeinu? Moshe Rabbeinu was the Mershim's Liebling. And especially Mitzrayim was full of Nisim. Nothing was unordinary. Why did the Mershim heal Moshe's speech problem? Zokter Ramban in Shmois Dalit Yud, the Kaddish Baruch Hu, Kiban Shlo Yispalo Bekach Leirotz L'Rapo Yisoy. This world is a world of Ani Tefillah. Moshe, if you would have davened, certainly I would have healed you, but you didn't daven, you didn't access that need. Ani Tefillah, by, even by the Baruch Shalom's Liebling, goes both ways. But you know, it goes way back before Moshe Rabbeinu. And I'll, I'll tell you a taich, a Torah taich in the word Hishtadlus. Right in the beginning, in Perik Beis, and Beresh, is Pasuk Hay, nothing grew, Zok the Pasuk, there was no rain, Nothing grew because there was no Adam to do the work. And it can be pshat. But the Barisham needs Adam to do a little work. The Barisham created the world. He can't make things grow without Adam Arishin. So Rashi asked the question, based on Agamor and Chul and Afsamach, Why didn't the Barisham make rain and things should grow? There was no Adam. And therefore he didn't daven for it. Now this is not Rashi's Chiddush. This is based on the Moran Chul. That says even, even Sharfa. Nothing grew because there was no Adam. And again, the Kash is the Barish needs Adam to make Kishtablus. Again, 
The Yad Rebani Shalayim shmooze, the first shmooze, and he'll just fill it for us. Ha b'lai ha l'ai sagi. I could make oil of a malaya, but I can't give a human being a benefit if he doesn't happen for it. The first shmooze, I need tefillah and ma'abaze adam and mata oiz. But look at the lotion. Va'adam ayin lavoid es hadama does not mean that there was no adam to do the physical work. That the bunch of them didn't need. But he needed the hashtadus called the avdai b'chol levavchem. That's what the Rebbeinu Shlalem needed. Because this is a world of habalai halai sagi. When a person looks at davening with that chashivas, then a davening is a davening. You know, the Kuzri in Gimel Hay, he says a person has to appreciate davening, and he gives an incredible marshal. Davening is like the meals that we eat. A person that has breakfast has kayak to go in the morning. Then he gets, he needs more kayak, he has lunch. Then he has supper. Zok to Kuzri, this marshal. The shachris gets us going in the morning. The mincha is the afternoon at slacha. The mayav is the night success. The tia ha'es ha'hi leaves manay upiriyoy. The evening has to be the foe, the center of my day. Because it is the center of my, my day, of my at in the day. We have to have that amuna. You know, today we hear this terrible atrocity, uh, pulling the plug where a person is on a life support and they pull a plug, which by us is Ritzicha. But the Pasuk in the Reish is that Moshe Rebbein was teaching us this, it's shaykh to pull a plug on a person's Hatzlocha. If he doesn't daven. And I once found an interesting halacha, a rayal halacha. The Moshe says in Brachis, the Hafez, Kepaskin, and Shulchan Aruch, Tzadik, Simen Tezvav, if a person, two people are in shul, and they daven, and one finishes Ma'ev and he leaves, and leaves the other person alone in shul at night, the one that left, they tear up his tefillah. You caused yourself, your nefesh should be torn up. Pull up A person's nefesh is his tefillah. But that's the chizik and tefillah is to know what a, what a davening is. You know, Abchaskel has a taich and a mishnah. So in, one of, in one of his letters he writes this. The mishnah says in Oves in Perik Bey, his mishnah Yud Gimel, Al Tas, Tefillah Keva, El Rachem and Besachnunim. Don't daven because it's a chiv. Daven Rachem and Besachnunim. And the question is obvious. And what's wrong if I daven because it's a chiv? So Abchaskel, because if it's a chiv, so then one day if you can't daven, you won't daven so good. You know, I can't. So what does it mean, Rach Mesach Nunim? Leida anachitzas asher muchach lachayim agufliyim v'anafshim shaloi asher ein loi bilti yizborach asher kol toli b'nesinosai b'choleis u'v'chol rega hu meitiv lanu. Davin as if your life depends on it because in fact your life does depend on it. That's tefillah. I was thinking Imagine in a hot summer day, you're learning outside with the chavrusa in the mountains, and you get a little thirsty, so you say, excuse me, you go out, you come back with some, a, a cup of cold water. Chavrusa wasn't too happy, but you know, you'll have to say that, but okay. The next, more, next day you're learning with him, and you start to get up, and he says, no, no, don't worry, I, br- I brought you water. He takes out a cup of water, he comes out, takes out a, a bottle of water from, from under his chair. So you say, I'm sure they can, I, I like water from a refrigerator, I mean, I'm a better man, I'm not going to drink plain water. He goes, oh, no problem. And he runs off. You don't know where he ran? He comes back five minutes later. He's carrying a refrigerator. And he puts it down. He takes his bottle of water, puts it in the refrigerator, takes it out, and pours you the water. So you think he might be a lamdin, but, but he's, he's, a, he's mufka. <laughs> What's he doing? So he's, and Shuldik, you know, it's not a din in a refrigerator. You have to have a plug. He goes, oh, no problem. He runs off on you. You don't know where he's going. Comes back five minutes later with an extension cord. Hey, I have the plug. So you try, you know, he's not mufka, he's mufrach. You say, and sure, it's not a din and a plug, a refrigerator, you have to have an outlet. Oh, no problem, he runs off. Comes back 20 minutes later, because he had to go to a hardware store to buy a plug. And he sticks it into the ground, and he puts the plug into the refrigerator and into the outlet. And you're thinking, never, you know, he's totally out of things. 
you're very tempted to say, I also need a wall. <laughs> because we'll see how he's going to bring a wall to you. But you know something? It's very misleading. Lachari has a good time. Because he has the plug, and he has the outlet, and he has the refrigerator. But Ika chasem in for there's no power. And all of this is not helping if there's no power. And that's what the Gemara in Nida was telling us. There's a hobbalai hobbalai sagi phenomenon in this world that a person could go all the established, but if you don't have the power, if you don't have the kayach, it's not going to go. And Reza Pella, the Moshal, is so perfect with the Nimshal. Because in both of them, the most important thing is invisible. We make a shtadlis, we're busy with our refrigerator and our plug and our outlet, but we don't see that the real power is the koyach of tefillah. And sometimes we're misled that, you know, we could manage. Rabbi Rucham Levavitz in Parshat Mishpatim, he writes about a ployim hayoysik doylem, that the him was a, he couldn't understand. Listen to what he says. He says, by me, it's the biggest pella that a ben Taira, an er l'chayid, knows that if he wants to be matzliach in Taira, it's this atachayin that's davening in the morning, or this atachayin in the afternoon. So how could a person not vein z'chayis to'oigin and atachayin l'adam das? This is atzlacha. And that, by Rabbi Rucham, is a pella g'dayla. I'm not such a big balakishan like Rabbi Rucham, but I, could, I know the answer, because we don't realize that equation. That the Atachayinan is our learning, and the, and the Baruch Aleinu is our Panasa, and the Rafa'inu is our Rafua. This is, I need to fill it. This is my Hishtadlus. But a person thinks he's okay. He can manage. He's okay. I have the connections. I have, I have the Kishwan. I have this. I have that. I once said maybe that's the, the, the message the Gemara says in Megillah, Daf Tezvav and Bebez, the story of, 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 of Purim. It looked so desperate for Klai Yisrael, but there was a little bit of a hope. Esther rose to power, and Mitamol, Esther invites Haman to the party. It was Mamish devastating. Everything's going good. Now she calls the enemy to the party. Ma Rasa Esther, why did Esther invite Haman to the party? So one of the many Pshatim, Shlayoyim Yisrael, Achois Lanu Beves Hamelech, V'yasichu Daita and Minharachamim. Because Yidin felt, ah, we have our man in the White House. We have someone in Capitol Hill. We're okay. We, we'll manage. And that was the most dangerous matzah for Kal Yisrael. If you think you could manage without Tzvila, you have the protector, you have the connections. That's Hakana. And Esther had to make a statement. Ain lonu lishoyin ela vino period. Not me, not Mordechai, nobody, nobody yoylam. People have in their own lives their their achois lanu. A lamdim will think his lamb is going to get him places. A, a clever person in business will his his kishu will get him places. That's loch of davening is when a person feels ain lanu lishoin. And I once pointed out, doik v'tishka, the aside of hilchois tefila lamaisa, is a person has to feel that he has nothing without tefila. The Mechaba says in Shulchan Aruch, Simen Tzadikei, Seed Gimel, that you're supposed to daven with your hands together. In Sif Aleph, based on the Gemara, you're supposed to daven with your feet together. Why? Must I have to stand like motionless, not moving my hands and feet together? So the Maral in the Sivavoyde Perik Vav, and I just saw recently the, the Rajman, the Chedushi Agodis, and Brach, in Brach is that Yirma Beis, says the same you saw it. Hands and feet is what gives a person Everything he needs. The way the Rajma says it's very, very detailed. The hands and feet get us our needs, help us escape from danger, fight our enemies. The kids are all of our needs, our hands and feet. But if you want to daven, be as daft to sein. If you want to really daven, you have to picture yourself helpless and hopeless and motionless. And you have no hands, you have no feet, I cannot move. Le'ez atta, I have nothing. And I need everything. Yes, the kvayi ben afsheinu zu, be'ez tefillah. And I'll read you the lashon of the maral also. Yakir adam she'ein lo'i dava mi'atzmai, rakakol mitzad ilosa yizborach. 
Without tefillah, a person has nothing. With tefillah, the sky's the limit. Like Rashi, there was Hele Gevert of Rashi on the Pasuk. Har chayv pichav amaleyu lishal mimeni kol taivaz libcha v'amaleyu kechol shatishal amaleyu And you learn the Gemara and Brachis. It's a plea. Yerucham used to say this constantly. They didn't make a step without tefillah. They went to base Medjish, they davened. They left base Medjish, they davened. They went to the Merchitz, they davened. They saw, they saw things, they made brachas. There was a bechol d'achecha d'eyu that was ingrained in every single person. But it's even deeper than that. The Mechaba says in Tzadik Ches, Siv Gim was based on a Gemara. Yispal derech tachnunim kirosh, like an oni hamavakej bepesach uvenachas. Mechaba's not talking about tzadiki oilam only. There's a chiv on each and every one of us to daven like an oni hamavakej bepesach. Why Oni? But it's not just the Mechaba. You look and tell him, David was the Ani Tfila. how many times we find David connecting Tfila to Anius. Tfila Oni Kiyatoiv, Kishimeya Elav Yoinim, Kilevozov Leishikes Anus Oni, Leiv Nizba Venitka Lekim Leisivze, we begin Tzlichas Kedala Mucharashim Dafak Nilasecha. What's the connection of Tfila and an Oni? But the cash is even bigger. What's the atzlacha that we could get from feel like an oni? The terror is when someone feels confident that he has what he has and he's muchzik. So davening is an extra. I'm all yeah, I'm all nisht. But if someone feels like the Raj, like Maral learns that he has no hands and no feet, he has nothing, and he has to daven in the shachris for, his, for the morning and the minch is the afternoon and the maiv is at night, if he feels he's an oni, he has nothing, I will he daven. If he has connections, he has protectia. So the davening is watered down. An Oni has no connections. An Oni has no protectia. But there's another stage. Ke'ene avodim al yad adoneihem. Eved, posep is eved. I always refer to this in the Roshana davening. Hayom ras oilam im kivanim. Have a chamanis. And im kavodim. What could be more than a, than a bonim that you're imploring the, the schus of an eved? Oi, is an Eved a perfect filler? An Eved is the one person that's a non-entity. An Eved in halacha doesn't have anything. Mashakona Eved kona rabbi, yad Eved kiyad rabbi, mitzias Eved le rabbi, the rabbi can say, I say me ve'ini zonach, and even the Eved's children belong to the rabbi. The Eved is one shtick, nothing. Protects you, Connection, man the charshmei. He doesn't even have the bread for the next meal. Could you imagine how desperate his tefillah is, and how heartfelt his tefillah is, how tzad libi al Hashem his tefillah is, and libi only. That's the pshat in the Gemara and Brach that we began with. Avada Rabbi Yochim and Zaki was much bigger than his Talmud Rabbi Chanina. But when it comes to tefillah, there's a special quality of an evet. An Eved knows he has nothing and needs everything. And naturally, he pours his heart out in tefillah. A Sar? A Sar is a prominent person. He has all the protection. He has so many achois. Yesh lanu beveis hamelech. Avadar Mendaki was greater than him. But in tefillah, the atzloch is the Eved, the Oni. You know, in the Chelik Beis of the Das Chacham Muslim, Rabbi Ruchim, there's a gem. It's, 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 it should be required reading. Because after he was Nifta, Nifta got pretty young, the G'dayla Talmidim, including Chaim Sholevitz and the Mal and all the G'dayla that we was Zaycha to know, they came together and they tried to put together all the Ika Yisoydus of Yeruchim. And there it's Chelik Beis, it's page 23. And I quote, There is no greater investment that that gives the most dividends. And at the same time, It gives so much dividends and there is no investment of time necessary. 
Halei Adam ben kach u ben kach hu mispalo. We spend time davening, right? We spend an hour, an hour and a half, two hours a day davening. We spend the time anyhow davening. In Rag Yosim Libay Lasseis Eisik Mitfila, Yuchulasashe Rak Mitfila Achas. So Pashat is so true. We spend the time anyhow davening. Are we taking it, are we capitalizing on the benefits of davening? You know, I often hear a father telling his child, You're in shul anyhow, you're not playing, why don't you daven? And I wish someone would tell me that. I'm in shul anyhow, I'm davening anyhow. Why don't they daven? You know, the Gemara calls tefillah, And the altar in Chelek Beis, my Mekuf Nun, he says, and I quote, If he wants to really if he wants to really steig, the word touched me. We have to harva to find a geschmack in davening. And then he says, uh, you see this b'chush, someone that doesn't want to eat, he could die from starvation. The Baruch made it, that we have an appetite to eat. But if, if we don't have an appetite to eat, a person would die of starvation. And if we don't have an appetite to daven, we could also die from a lack of tefillah. And then he said, Eitza yeutza limtza itam betfila. What does it mean, a tam and tefila? You know, the Nefshechayim writes in the beginning of Shar Beis, Lehesanik al Hashem levad betevas ha tefila. We should find the delight in davening in the words. Or someone, a yid that I know, Zazayin Gizunt, he, Mamish, to me, he personifies any tefila. He's Mamish and Mispalo. And I was once, Mamish watching, I was trying to get a little and he was just finishing davening, and he turned to me and he says, if you give me a head to the daven again, I'll give you $100 cash on the spot. I was mekana him. He has a tam tfila. You know, like the yid, he says, my, my davening yomte, that's my chatzil lachem, now I go home to the chatzil lachem. The Barishtam program a human being of yismach leiv, mevakshay Hashem. Where do we find a tam in davening? A tam that should... Bring us Beru Meishel Oilam. So obviously, step one is to learn Pirish Hamilas, know what we're davening. If you don't know what you're davening, if you don't know the, the words of Pesukah de Zimra, it doesn't have the meaning that it's supposed to have. But I have a different point. Because this word, Tam Tfila, that the Alta used, I found the Medrash. The Medrash in the very end of Mishlei, in Shai Chotay, the end of Mishlei, Tama Ki Toiv Sachra, Zechana She Tama Tam Tfila. Chana was the one that experienced a gishmak in davening. Lefikach zachsa v'yatsem en uben shahar yezivig l'moyshe v'arein. Where it says that Shmuel was shok k'neg emoyshe v'arein. So Chana embodied tam tefillah. What was Chana's secret? I think it's obvious. You look at the Pasuk, look at the Pesukim in the beginning, Shmuel, Hashem sog yesra achma, she was a moras nefesh, boche, tifka, isha, kishas, ruach, anoichi. And besides all that, her sister Penina, kas, acha, kas, tomid, tauntera, and teased her, albeit l'shem shemayim, but it's a vegetan, she was a tormented woman, helpless, hopeless, but there was one hope. She had a husband, Elkana, a tzaddik. He'll take care of her. Until that day, Bayamal Kana, Isha, Khana, Lama Tifki, Vlamalai Saikli, Vlamayra Lavave, Khala Noichi, Toivlach, Measara Bonim. Rashi, the Radak, the Al Bag, all the Vishainim learn. He was saying a very subtle message. Forget about having children. So you won't have children. I we're a couple. I'll take care of you, but who needs children? You know, it, it's impossible for me or any person to think about Chana's feeling that moment. She wanted so much, she was tzabrochen, and her last hope was dashed and shattered in front of her eyes. So what did she do? What does Anisha do in the most helpless, hopeless, darkest moment? A yid knows he's never helpless and he's never hopeless and he's never alone. And she davened. And oi did she daven. She named did she daven. And she was zaycha to a shmuel. 
She was Zoycha that she's the beacon of light. She's the, the chizik to the hopeless and the helpless. And we lay in the story of Chana on, on Rosh Hashanah. Because Chana is the message that a yid is never helpless, a yid is never hopeless. Vimaras nefesh vatispala Hashem ubacha yisivcha. All the frustration and all the tsar and all the worry, she transformed it into the superpower that's called Tredin, Yiddish Tredin. That's the time of Tfila. That was the best thing that happened to her, that Elkanah told her, there's no longer a chois yeshlon beveis hamelech. And now she felt, ain adava tali yalbi, or better yet, ain lanu lishayin el alavinu sheba shamayim. That's the time of Tfila. She felt a moment of ke'ene avodim ayara the name. I have nothing but you, Bari Oilam. Now the Malbum on that Pasik points out she was so much sleep because she had four parts to, to a tefillah. First of all, he says, Moras Nefesh. Lave Nizba Venitka Lekemla Sivza. Also at the spal al Hashem, Kavana Shlema. The third ingredient, Ubachai Sivcha, Shari Demois Lainalu. And the fourth quality, the next pasuk about Tidoi Neda, she used other schusim. Obviously, other schusim also help. But I think there's a fifth part of our tefillah. The pasuk Yud Beis, V'hoya ki herbesol hispala lefnei Hashem. Davening is not a quick fix. Like the Medjur says, sometimes it's that day, a week, a year, 20 years, Sometimes it's an accumulation. Sometimes you need kimbinya veschanon. But when someone davens mikiras liboy, bachoy sifka, and there's a tefillah with a muna in themselves, that's a tam and tefillah. And how batam tefillah was in Chana's eyes. Every time she looked at Shmuel, she saw ani tefillah. He's tefillah. He's the chafz of tefillah. person could talk to Bari Yailam. What, what do we need more than talking to Bari Yailam? You know, it's, it's pleadic. I mean, how, how the Torah is geknipped and gebinden. The Yishalmi in Brachis there, the per, ninth parak, makes a chesh on how far the Bari Yailam is from our world. It's hundreds of light years away. And yet, in spite of the distance that's unimaginable, Adam nichnes lebeis hakneses v'oymer achari ha'amid u'mispalo b'lechisha l'kadosh baruch hu mazen est filosai shenema he medaberes aliba raks vaser nois v'koy la yishma v'hezna kadosh baruch hu est filosa. That's tam tfila. A yid is never alone. A yid is never helpless. A yid is never hopeless. The bereshem is right there, hundreds of light years away. But v'chana medaberes aliba and the bereshem heard our tfila. And take a look at the pasuk. It's interesting. She described her tefillah. She wasn't tired of nafshay by giving up. That was Shmuel. That was the chizik of Shmuel. I guess she lived with the Chavetz Chaim's message. You don't need someone else, yourself. Ain't a davatali alabi. And you know something? You don't need a chana. I always think this is the Pasha Pshah in the Gemara in Yavamis. Gemara asked a very painful question. Why was it that the Imois, Sora, Rivka, Rachel, and some of the Avais weren't able to have children? It's a very painful experience to be an Akara. Very nice. Baruch wants Tfila. But why do they have to suffer? Maybe the Cheshmer is the Baruch Shalom knew that Yidna going into a long and dark Golos. And sometimes we don't know what to do. Where do we go on? It doesn't make sense. And then you ask yourself, do I make sense? Do you make sense? We don't belong here. We shouldn't be here. Our Avais, our Imois, we're our Kharis. This shouldn't be a Klai Yisrael. But there are Chateva, this shouldn't be a Klai Yisrael. And every time you look at yourself, you could see I need Tfilah. Every time you look at yourself or your friend, you could see that this, this Uma, the Ein Koyach Me'ele Bepeh. I need Tefillah. We're all Koyach of Tefillah. But the Medjus continues. But don't think it's only Chana that has this Bracha. V'chein Kol Bir Yosef. 
Shenema, listen to this, Tfil Loani Kiyatoy, Udafnei Hashem, Yishboy, Sichoy. Sichi. It's not just Chana Veshbech as Navshi, it's me and you also have that Koyach of Tfilah. And that Tyre Yidin is a Taman Tfilah. He has his needs and he has the answer to his need. You know, in Yeshiva, you know, you say about someone, Eken Lanin. More than he knows how to learn. It means he's a, he's, Eken Lanin. <laughs> he's graduated, he's a, he's a PhD in learning. What does it mean someone can Davenin? I don't mean if he's musically inclined to be a Baltfila. You know what it means, Eken Lanin? He knows the simple truth, I need Tfila. I am what I daven, and I might not be if I don't daven. And I don't need necessarily someone else. Ain't I dove totally a be? And I too could have the experience of the Fnei Hashem Yishbaich Sichi. And the Gemara says in Brachas of Lamed Beis, Abot Sichi and Chizik. Rashi says, Yishchaz Odbem Tomid Bechol Koychay. So, you know, kind of Ben Shoel, there are people that really daven. There are people that know how to daven. You know, this Yid that was going to give me $100 for Heter to daven again. He needs a schizik, tomid, and tefillah. So it came to my mind, you know, what they say, Rabbi Yashiv was uh, over 100, and every morning he would vein zechais to oigen by Revna Hashem Olekein, who was divrei seroscha. They say he was 102 years old and he was still crying by Revna. This man was not... Messiah das for Torah for the past 90 years and he's still crying by Revna? But vice to choice, there's no end to the Messiahs of Torah. That you could be here by Yash that's learning for 90 plus years, like Pasuk, Pumi, Megir say, but he wants more and more of the sweetness of Torah. And the Rabbi say, the Tfila, the Tam of Tfila is the same thing. Yishazek, Adam, Bem, Tamid, even a person that is a Davin, he is a Mispalo. But there's more time in Tvila, there's more time in Tvila, there's more Gishmak in Tvila, there's more Ravis in Tvila. And that's the time of Tvila that we have to be staging in in these times. You know, Tvila was always something a Yid knew, that's all he had. Most of Golis, we're running for our lives, we're muzzing in nothing but our tears, our Tvilas. We came to Medina Shal Chesed. And we became gansachois yeshlonu beveis hamelech. We became so comfortable and, and, and so secure. And I don't want to talk, you know, it's yomtiv now, but you think what went on the past few months, actually before the past few months, uh, when there was an attack on the, the curriculum in the yeshivas, unheard of. And now with this matziv now, and now we, we've been you know, exposed to the ultimate truth that we are muzik in nothing. We see Nebuch how tenuous our grasp on life is, on health, age, young, old, all these myths were shattered. And now we've come to the reality that in a certain sense, our biggest bracha, yes, our biggest bracha, that we're avodim, we're ani, and we have nothing, we need everything, and we have the kayak of tefillah that gives us everything. All the myths that we have our men here and there, it's a garnish mit nisht. Now, I was not quote what he heard from the Heidegger Chazenish. Chazenish said a person has a problem and he thinks, no, I have a problem, I have to daven. So I was not just quoting two of his form. He says, the Chazenish said it's a toys. It's not you have a problem and you have to daven. And I quote the Chazenish's Lashen. It's a wake up call. So the Baruch Hashem lovingly calls out to you, I haven't heard from you in a long time. How does the Baruch Hashem call us? It gives a little of a, you know, a little of a tickle, a little of a problem. I guess tefillah is an expression of Ani L'doidi V'doidi Li. The Baruch Hashem wants to hear us and we have to respond. And, it's, and, and Chazanish added, it doesn't make a difference why you're davening. Now you're davening because you have a problem? It doesn't make a difference. As long as we have this relationship of any little Imagine if we take this matter that we're in and turn it into our biggest bracha. Like Hannah did in her darkest moment, 
That's the time of tefillah. To see, ain't lanu lishoyin ela vin lo And we think about it, what's going on. People are getting sick that we're most careful. And it's clearly a sign of wake-up call. It doesn't make sense. This whole thing doesn't make sense. And even the biggest professionals can't explain it. The biggest doctors can't explain it. It's one koil doi di doi fik pischuli achoi sira yossi. Now, a number of years ago, they found a they found a, a movie of the Chafetz Chaim. Mamash, you could see the Chafetz Chaim walking, and Mamash was a, a breath of life, a chizuk. He saw the Chafetz Chaim in front of our eyes. Imagine if I would take out a letter Chafetz Chaim wrote, dated, Klal Yisrael Tavshin Pei Aleph. How that would talk to us? How would that would take our neshama? No, I don't have that letter. I don't think the Chafetz Chaim wrote such a letter. But if you look in the Lakuti Amorim, Sim Perik Yud, what Chavz Chaim wrote, Pixabiat Kachai, I think it's talking to our door. Chavz Chaim starts with a Chiddush Nifla. He says, You're not going to be Mahara after the Midrash Kaddish Baruch Hu. But Mutala Adam to be Matsiya, his Tain is in front of Kaddish Baruch Hu. Why are things going wrong? Lahapil Tainois Val Pegash Baruch Hu, I'll call Tsaru Pegash Akaralai. Adrabi quotes a Pasuk in Yeshaya. Al titnu dami loy, tiny zikhwar kodesh baruchu. I'm afraid people are thinking about this recently. What's happening to this world? Where's the rabbi nishlaylam? No. So, what's the answer? So, the Chavetz Chaim writes, and I quote Recently, people have so much trouble from the government. So, what do they do? They send delegates, representatives, and they I'll fight the case, they plead, they beg, they request. Chavetz Chaim in a footnote adds, and in America there was just a, a, a wonderful new law passed that you're allowed to bring your wife from out of the country because there was so much request, there was so much imploring, there was so much effort put in to get that request, that's why we see it. So to Chavetz Chaim, Achai v'reyai. Every single day, b'fnim, b'chutz, alachas kama v'chama aleinu lishpoich siach tchina u'bakosh l'fnei abari yizborach shumoli rachamim v'leilitein doimi aloi m'daf sich oiz bet and oiz veinig da oiv oiz veinig da oigin And he said, that's pshat in the Pasik. We just laid the ground in the after of, 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 of pshat b'shuva where the Pasik says, Khu imachem dvar mu shuvel Hashem. And then he concludes, Hayoyt midvarenu, shakolat sorais, harabais, haboyas, aleinu, shaynenu nitzalamahem, heim abnei shaynanu tsayakim, umarm betfila. We're not davening enough of lehem, ki luhis palalnu, vishafachnu siach vekadish baruchu, bevadei lo yeshuvu tfila seinu bakish seinu reikum. But I know one thing, Tfil is our response. Let me just be Messiah with him. Isa. If not that Rabbi Shmuel Hamana was an Ish, MS, an Ish Kodesh, said it over, I wouldn't believe it, but he says a Kabbalah of the story. There was a Yidin Posen, Kirega was the Rav in Posen, as we know, who was very, very sick, deathly ill. The doctor gave up hope. There was no hope for him. Just then, the king's personal physician visited Posen. So Kivega, Alz the Balachrai, Alz the Rav, went to see this doctor and told him about this member of the Kehilla that was deathly ill. What would you say could be done? He said, Nothing. I know there's nothing could be done. So Kivega, probably a shtickle of a Ruach he says, And what would be if the king had this machla? What would you do? So the, so the doctor smiles and says, Why do you ask? You know, something the king had this machla. But I didn't tell you because it's irrelevant. Totally. Irrelevant for you. He says, what do you mean? Tell me. What, what? No, it's not Hegea. We There's a bird in a faraway country that if you capture that bird and you cook it and feed it to the patient, there's a miraculous recovery. But we, it was a king. We sent battalions of troops looking for, the, for, this, for this bird. We finally found it. But for you, it's just, it, it, can't, it never happened in a million years. Okay, thank you very much. And he went home, he went back, he went to a study, and he started davening. Not min chomayr, he started davening, he said, a melech could have it, 
and Melech Malachim and Malachim can't give it to this Yid and it's always given to Eugen for this Yid and suddenly there was a commotion on the roof so he heard a very strange noise and he told someone go see what's doing on the roof and that bird just landed on Kvega's roof and they shechted it and they prepared it and Kvega said with great foresight save all the feathers of this bird I want Yidin to have a chizik l'doyris Tyre Yidin if I would take out the feather right now would you have chizik to daven and daven and daven? I don't have a feather but me and you we are a bigger testimony of Kayach HaTfilah than that feather the secret of Netzach Yisrael Yishaka. since the Avais is only the Kayach of Tfila. Why do you have to see a feather to get a chizik and tefillah? If that's the secret of Klal Yisrael, the Baruch Hashem will help when we should get the message. We should dive into the Baruch Yoyalam, and the Baruch will send us the Yeshua b'mheir v'yameinu. Amen v'amen. Amen. I would like to thank Rabbi Smith for the wonderful shir, the murdige chizik and tefillah. The Ebi Shalom and Taka, all the Tfilas, he saw, she would escape, the Rachemim, the Rotsa, and all of them, a good Gebensch, a fair year. I also would like to thank Rabbi Avram Spry, Ebi Spry, for sponsoring today's Mamad Kiddush Hashem. The next year of Skvere Dine, I have a going to be here on the Hashtimitz, Shalos and Chubas and Dalit Chalke Shechanoch, as in five minutes. In five minutes, right here, is the Shia of Shalos and Chubas. Abraham, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to